We're an NG120 team, which is a class. It's typically the first chance that freshmen have to do a design project at Rice. So we ended up partnering with the Houston Zoo to develop this activity feeder for their Red River hogs. Today is the first day we're actually bringing the device to the zoo and getting to see it in use with the animals. The little one in the bottom. The animal, in this case the Red River Hog, is supposed to hit the bottom of the device in which the feed pellets from the very top, the open top, will distribute throughout the circular levels in the holes that are 180 degrees apart from each other to be able to distribute throughout the bottom holes of the device. Oh. Oh, oh, that's good. We love to partner with the Rice Engineering Program with this class that they offer. By partnering with the Engineering Program, they sometimes come up with different ideas and ways of building projects that are beyond my personal ability as a zookeeper to think of and kind of actually have the construction abilities to do. The feeding time with some of the current feeders, which are rolling feeders, that will sort of push them around on the ground and roll them until food comes out. It takes about five minutes. So what Kim really wanted from us was a feeder that was going to elongate that feeding time, uh, if, if possible, up to about 15 minutes. And then they'd get fed multiple times a day. So ultimately, this was going to constitute a much greater part of their day. She was also looking to hopefully increase the physical activity that the hogs were going through as they were feeding. So there are obviously unique challenges with every project. I would say the biggest one for us was not knowing exactly how our users, the hogs, would interact with the device. It's definitely difficult, I think, to think about that relationship between designer and user when we're humans and they're animals. So yeah, today, as we got to see them use it for the first time, they definitely were nervous. They have to figure it out for sure, but I think we were anticipating that going into it. We know that introducing a new feeder to these animals in their safe space can make them nervous, um, but we think they just need time and that they'll be able to figure it out soon.